Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Fertile eggs tend to look beige in color. They will develop a darker spot in the middle as hatching nears. So long as the eggs don't get fungus, there is hope they will hatch. Infertile eggs will look plain and white, translucent.23 March 2018. Take our lead. Fertilization, internal or external. How fertilization actually occurs is still open to some discussion. Most ichthyologists believe that the sperm exits the female's gills, and is shunted to a unique cup that she forms with her pelvic fins. Upon obtaining the sperm, the female lays one to five eggs into this cup. 28 September 2009. Make your mark, take our lead. You can feed the fry the microworms for a couple of days or so. You can also feed them baby brine shrimp. Once they are big enough, then you can start feeding them crushed flake and tablets. Point one two February 2007. Take our lead. In the last two months I have had five new albino Corridora fry survive. Two of them survived for about 10 days in the main tank before I noticed. The other three, I pulled out the eggs from the tank, and put them in a small QT tank. I started with 10 surviving fry once they hatched, and ended up with three at the end.1 November 2017. Let's help you make your mark. The chocolate-colored pelvic fins completed what was altogether a stunning little gem of a fish. From six weeks or so the fry pattern gradually faded and the familiar adult colors took their place. These little fish grow rapidly and by three months old were a sellable size. Make your mark, take our lead. After the Cory catfish have spawned, I remove the adults from the aquarium. There is no post-spawning care of the eggs by the adults, so there is no reason to leave them in the fish aquarium. They're certainly capable of eating their own eggs or wrigglers. Good luck with your new Corydoras fry, the 9th of March 2010. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.